In winter, St. Gallen is a wonderland. The medieval abbey of St. Gall complex has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1983. It includes an imposing Baroque cathedral. In the year 612, Irish monk St. Gall founded a hermitage on the site of modern St. Gallen. At the time, people believed that the harder their lives on earth were, the more beautiful heaven would be. St. Gall also believed this. He stayed here, a place with an altitude of 700 meters, because when he first arrived, he stumbled and saw it as a sign from God. He was collecting wood to make a fire when a brown bear approached him. St. Gall spoke to him and said, in the name of God, go and fetch me more wood for my fire. And he did. The Reformation arrived in St. Gallen in 1527. Conflict between Catholics and Protestants was rife. A 10-meter-high wall was erected to separate the abbey from the town. The wall divided the town into two. It was half Catholic, half Protestant. It stood there until 1820, which is when the town became a center of the textiles industry, famous for embroidery. Then the wall was taken down. Textiles brought affluence to St. Gallen. By 1910, the region was the world's leading exporter of embroidered goods. Today, fashion brands from Chanel to Dior and Armani still use St. Gallen lace. The local textiles museum documents the history of the industry. St. Gallen is proud of its heritage. The Abbey Library is one of the oldest monastic libraries in the world. It houses over 2,000 manuscripts dating back to the 8th through the 15th centuries including the world's oldest music manuscript, which dates back to the 9th century. No other library in Europe has been preserved in such entirety. Its gems include very early fragments of the Latin Bible. A manuscript of the Nibelungen, a very famous piece, as well as early German literature. Ulrike Brüllisauer starts her Christmas season tour of St. Gallen's Angels and Cherubs not far from the Baroque Library in the Roman Catholic Stiftskirche of St. Gall and Ottmar. Angels and Cherubs are not as integral a part of the church as one might think. At times angels were expunged, other times they were considered acceptable. There was a lot of back and forth. Religious councils made decisions to expunge the angels. As Christmas approaches, another attraction in St. Gallen is chocolate. This is milk chocolate with gingerbread spices. And this here is quality chocolate with almond slivers and orange essence. The nearby Confiserie Roquevilla is also marking the festive season. Our Christmas gingerbread is filled with almond mousse and decorated with Christmas garnishing. It comes in various sizes. St. Gallen's Christmas lights are legendary. A total of 700 of them are switched on ahead of the first advent. The stars show St. Gallen at its best. Great mood, lovely atmosphere, perfect. This is what Christmas is all about. Christmas in St. Gallen, straight out of the storybooks.